Afternoon, Dave Canterbury with Pathfinder School. Back for one more segment in our discount bushcraft kit video. This will be segment number six. And what I want to show you guys today is probably the cheapest, absolutely most effective and best snare that you can make for the money. All right? And remember as you watch this video that there are laws when it comes to snaring animals of certain aspects for weight limit tagging of your snares and things of that nature that you need to be aware of before you just go out snaring animals but in a survival or self-reliance situation where you need to snare animals to secure food for your own survival anything goes okay so I'm gonna show you something that will make that easier for you you will have ready-made snares with you and you don't have to do any work virtually whatsoever and they are very very effective and very 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 cheap okay so stay with me okay guys what this is this is a 12 pack of steel leaders from Walmart one dollar and fifteen cents there are six of them in here six of them and they are 18 inches long and they have a 45 pound weight limit so plenty for small game like squirrels and rabbits now I'm gonna show you a couple tricks with these but you can see how easily this makes a snare and I'm gonna show you a couple tricks that are probably gonna get me in trouble with the bunny huggers but there's some big advantages to these type of snares that you don't have with the other snares that we've looked at or picture wire or any kind of wire that you use for snares and these are ready made they already have swivels on them for connecting points and they already have the loop on the end but I'm going to show you how to modify that loop to make this trap a lot more effective if you look at this trap close up what I've done with this swivel is I have opened the swivel up and put my snare wire through it and then I have actually bent it over slightly almost like a safety pin would be and it slides just fine like that and there's my crook and my wire where my snare would be set and if they come through it boom they're in it okay just like any other snare the good thing about this snare is if you look at this swivel you can see that where they bent this wire around on this side there's a nipple sticking up right there of wire and where I bent this other one over there's an excess of wire what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I just used a multi-tool to do that with you could use any pair of pliers for that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off I'm gonna cut that crook off of it so that there's just a straight piece of metal there now what happens is when the animal goes inside this and gets caught two things happen he's going to one of these pieces of metal either this one is sticking up here or the one is sticking up on the bottom side is going to be digging into his skin and he's going to tr struggle to get away from that and the more he struggles the faster he dies because it's a strangulation type trap so by having those little pieces of wire sticking out right there that hard wire when that animal chokes himself he gets one of those pricking into his skin and he's gonna try to get away from that as hard as he can just like you would if something was poking you hence he dies faster so it's a more humane trap in a sense that it will probably kill faster than a normal snare but it's probably less humane in the fact that you're actually aggravating the animal a little bit after you trap him now I want to show you how good these little snares look when they're set now the good thing about these snares is this loop that they've got on the back side here, and I'll have to get my cigarette lighter out probably. I've got a piece of spare paracord here that I got that I had laying around. But this loop, this on the bottom of this thing is just exactly the right diameter to put a piece of paracord through, the swivel. And I'm gonna burn this off and show you that in just a second. Okay, this paracord is a really nice tight fit in this swivel. So really all you have to do is get that swivel shuck down over that paracord far enough like I'm doing right now to tie a knot into that paracord and I'm telling you right now no rabbit or squirrel 
is going to get out of that. Not even a small possum for that matter. Probably not even a big possum, but being as this a 45 pound snare. But it's a tight fit, but it's just a perfect fit. And I just pointed the end of that with my fingers when I burned it. And then I'm just going to tie a knot in it so it doesn't come undone. And I can burn that knot down very easily with my lighter. And that will ensure that if I melt that down on there, it's definitely not coming off. And just melt that clear back to the knot. So it almost melts that knot together. Just like that. Let it burn. Blow it out and just kind of smush it down here. Now, there's no way that knot's coming out of there now. And then I can slide my snare loop back up on that paracord if I want to. Because at that point, it's not going anywhere. And there we go. Now I've got whatever length I need to tie this off with. So now if I'm going to set my snare, all I have to do is get my snare set up in the right location with the right setup like I do any other time. You know, I can put a couple of uh, sticks in the trail here to direct that animal where I want him. And as soon as he crawls through that snare, he's going to get poked by the... I mean, that wire's poked me every time I put my hand through that snare. That wire's poked me immediately. So this is some very, very good technique to use in a very cheap way of making snares. Like I said, paracord fits right through there. All you got to do is knot it on the end. So this is nothing that you don't already have with you. You really don't need anything to set this up other than, you know, a multi-tool or some type of pair of pliers. And then you can just run your cordage to whatever and tie it off. You're ready to rock and roll. And you got six ready-made snares for a dollar and fifteen cents. Well, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. Hope you enjoyed this little quick trick and tip on snaring and how to set up some really effective discount snares. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you joining me for this video. And uh, we'll be back with another one real shortly. Thank you very much.